Do you feel like your attention span is ruined? Do you always feel mentally drained? If this is you, you may have brain rot. But don't worry, it's reversible. You may be wondering, what is brain rot? Brain rot refers to the experience of mental decline and exhaustion as a result of constant information overload. Symptoms of this condition include brain damage, too much screen time has been shown to alter the amount of gray matter in the brain. Gray matter affects a person's cognitive function, language, memory, attention, and decision-making abilities. Poor attention span. The feeling of being unable to focus on one thing for longer than a few seconds. And the moment something slows down slightly, experiencing an overwhelming urge to jump to something new in order to fill the gap. Problems with memory. It becomes difficult to process the overload of information and recall both short-term and long-term memories life may begin to feel like a blur. Poor decision making. Frequent dopamine spikes combined with the constant influx of other people's opinions leads to more impulsive, emotionally charged behavior. Problem sleeping. Increased screen time disrupts normal sleep patterns and not getting enough quality sleep worsens the other symptoms. Anxiety and depression. Excessive scrolling, also referred to as doom scrolling, leads to a negativity bias, increasing feelings of anxiety, depression, and apathy. An overload of information from spending too much time online is the main cause of brain rot. The brain cannot properly process all of the information coming in from constant media consumption. More specifically, from media that has practically no educational, creative, or meaningful value to it. If you have uttered a sentence even remotely similar to, stop being such a beta, start mewing, drop the MPC aura, and drizz up Livy at the skibbity party, I'm sorry to inform you that you are likely suffering from brain rot. Luckily, there's a cure. The complete opposite of brain rot is mindfulness. Start first by becoming more mindful of what you're consuming. Pretty much all platforms today have a feedback system. The more of one specific type of content you consume, the more of that content you'll be recommended. If brain rot content is being recommended to you, look for something that tells the algorithm that you're not interested or that you would like to be shown it less, or that you dislike it. Actively look for media that you find motivating, positive, or educational, and unfollow the ones that are not. If possible, try to limit your total screen time. Placing electronic devices away from you and disabling any unnecessary push notifications on your devices can go a long way towards reducing your total screen time. Instead of scrolling, try doing offline hobbies in your free time. Going outside and doing things out in the real world is also a great way to make new friends around you. Try to improve your sleep. Getting a good night's sleep and maintaining a healthy sleep schedule could be its own video, but sleep is essential to processing new information and consolidating that down into memory. The ultimate mindfulness practice is meditation. Meditation's effect on the brain has been well-researched, 
and it's been shown that meditating can increase the amount of gray matter in the brain. This can directly help address the negative symptoms that come with brain rot. Meditation helps improve focus and concentration, increases your memory recall, and helps make you a better decision maker. Meditation has even more healthy benefits beyond that, but I don't want to get too sidetracked. By slowing down, relaxing, and taking frequent breaks, you can lower the burden on your brain and have more mental energy to live life how you want to. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, consider subscribing. And until next time, goodbye.